South Korea still appears to be having problems with its attempts to launch space rockets from its territory. The latest project, orbiting an observation satellite to study climate change, was delayed Wednesday after fire retardant suddenly sprayed from three nozzles set up near the rocket launch pad. Crews cleaned up, and things were set up for another try Thursday, with the satellite poised atop a two-stage narrow rocket at the country's Kohang Space Center on its southern coast. All systems appeared go as the countdown approached launch time, set to take place just after 5 o'clock in the evening local time. <laughs> Liftoff itself appeared successful, with the rocket streaking away cleanly into the sky. But officials acknowledged they had a problem within three minutes. Lee Ju Jin heads South Korea's space agency. 이륙호 137초경에 텔레메트리와 137 seconds after its launch, telemetry and all communications have been lost. The altitude was about 70 kilometers, and the distance was about 87 kilometers at the moment of communication disconnection. Before this point, all data were normal, so we will now seek ways to find the satellite. The Minister of Education, Science and Technology said shortly afterward, however, that there was a bright flash of light 137 seconds into the flight, and officials believe the rocket exploded. He apologized for the mission failing to live up to expectations. In South Korea's first attempt at a launch from Kohang last August, the satellite failed to go into orbit because one of its covers didn't come off after liftoff. Karen Sloan, The Associated Press.